Pro Engineer Wildfire 5 Schools Edition. Welcome to the Schools Edition of Pro Engineer Wildfire 5. When you first start the program up, you will see the PTC web browser page. This can be minimized by left clicking onto the sash, left click it, and it just collapses into the side. Before we start, we will do what's called set a working directory. Basically a working directory is just a folder, all the parts and assemblies relating to one project are stored. The simplest way to do this is go to file, left click, come down to set working directory, left click, direct the program to where you want to create the working directory. In this case I'm going to go and create it on my desktop. I can then just right click and create a new folder. The first series of parts we're going to create are blocks, so just name the folder blocks. Say OK to it and just say OK. The program informs you that you've successfully changed the working directory to the desired place. We can now go and create our first part. This is done by either going to File New or just click onto the new icon. We're going to name our part Block 1. Pro Engineer doesn't accept spaces, so it's going to be Block underscore 1. Note that we're going to be creating a part and we're going to be creating it as a solid. Just say OK to it. And our 3D working environment is shown on the screen. This consists of three datum planes, a top datum plane as though you're looking in the plan view of it, a front datum plane as though you're looking head onto it, and our right datum plane as though you're looking from the right. The first part we're going to create is a really simple cylinder. This will be done by using the extrude command, so come across to the extrude, left click onto it. You'll notice the top of the page changes. This is called our dashboard. In the dashboard you can see the word placement, left click it, and then define. Basically we're going to tell Pro Engineer where we want to draw our sketch. I'm just going to move the sketch box out of the way by clicking and dragging onto it. We want to sketch onto our top datum plane, so just hover over the top datum plane, left click it, you'll notice the top has been selected but also it is selected the front datum plane. It is using the front datum plane as a reference and the orientation it's going to turn the front datum plane facing towards the bottom. What I want you to do is just trust the default settings and just say sketch. We're now taking off into the 2D drawing environment. You'll see the menu down the right hand side has changed into various 2D drawing tools. We're going to be drawing a cylinder, as I said, so let's go to the circle command. It's the easiest way to do it, is just draw two circles. As you select it, you'll now notice the cursor has crosshairs on the end of it. If you bring the cursor across to the vertical datum plane, you'll notice the intent manager inside Pro Engineer tries to snap to the vertical datum plane. And if you do the same on the horizontal datum plane, you'll notice it also tries to snap to the horizontal datum plane and therefore it will snap to the intersection of the two datum planes. Once it snaps, left click once to start the circle, move the cursor out, and then left click again. Notice I'm just sketching without using any sizes. So I'm now going to come and draw a second circle. Come and snap, bring it down, and it will snap to the intersection. Left click to start the second circle, move the cursor away, left click again you'll notice there's still no dimensions. Dimensions are automatically created in Pro Engineer. Go to the Select command, click away in space to deselect the second circle, and you will notice we now have our two dimensions. These can be separated by hovering over it, left-clicking and dragging, and moving to a new position. Let's go and set the diameter of the tube. We can have the inside diameter as 74, 
enter and the add side diameter to 80 double click it type in 80 and enter and notice the view should resize if you just click away in space to deselect the second dimension that we've just changed you'll now notice that the dimensions have gone an orange color and if you hover over it it now tells you that the dimension is locked it means you've changed the nominal dimension we're now happy with our two circles so we can go back into the 3d environment this is done by coming across to the blue done tick on the right hand side of the menu left click it and we're now still looking in the plan view to rotate the view over go to your named views list which is hidden under this AB left click on it to get the drop down and the way the view is initially brought in is trimetric left click it and the view is rotated to give the cylinder a height by clicking into the dashboard and change it to 200 enter and it resizes you can now click onto the preview by clicking onto the glasses themselves do not click onto the tick this will lose your preview but click onto the glasses themselves and it gives you a preview of what the view should look like and then left click onto the green tick to accept the part we can now refit the part to the screen by hovering over the refit icon left click it bring the cursor onto the screen left click away all that needs to be done now is just to save the part and just go across to our save icon left click onto it now that we are taken back to the working directory and all we have to do is just say OK congratulations you've just completed your first part in Pro Engineer Schools Edition Wildfire 5